Many people think the difference between a draw and a fade is simply curving the ball right or left. Well, it's actually not that simple. So today, Cameron is going to help show us the difference between a draw and a fade. Golfers, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and tell us in the comments if you play a draw or a fade. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf, joined by Cameron Fitzer, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing at Minnetonka. Um, Cameron, a, a fun topic today yeah. because we're talking about draws and fades and I think a lot of golfers out there might be watching casually on the weekends, might right. play uh, as quote unquote weekend warriors, right? Mm -hmm. But they think, you know, draw goes left yep. uh, for a right-handed player anyway and a yep. fade goes right. Yep. And that's really as simple as it is. Well, uh, you know, Knowing and having the benefit of track, man, right. and seeing the difference between draws and fades, it's actually very different. Definitely. And um, knowing that when you're on the course can be a big help. Definitely. A lot of the stuff that, that kind of is overlooked from, from many golfers. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, direction of, of where it's going is nice in, in terms of shaping something into a pin or working away from right. a hazard or something like that. But what changes in terms of launch and spin when we play that different shot shape? Yeah. What, what changes in our stopping power? What are the, the aspects that you don't think about or you can't mm -hmm. see visually when you're out on the course yep. that change just by manipulating different shot shapes? Yeah, so. absolutely. So I think one of the things we're gonna show today, both with seven iron and driver, we're yep. gonna kind of dive into the nitty gritty of here's what happens when the ball draws and then here's how it changes when that ball fades. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, we've, a couple of things, I mean, we always say this on the videos because launch and spin landing angle, things like that matter right. a ton. Right. Um, but I, there's some real differences between a player hitting a fade and a draw in those categories. In Absolutely. Particular. So Cameron, yeah. ready to hit some shots here? Seven yeah. iron driver? Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Is the draw the stock shot? I would say that's the, the typical one. Yeah, that's yeah. the easy one. Yeah. Oh, that one just hit a little bit more solid. Yeah, that was crisp. So at the ball speed there. Went up a little bit. Oh, yeah. A little pushy you know, one, but... What do you mean this is going to be harder? <laughs> Easy game, I guess. So Cameron, we've got five with the, well, hit a draw and five fades up yep. there. Um, definitely saw some differences. Some pretty good swings by you too. Appreciate um, it. But uh, what jumps out at this data for you? I mean, what do you see that, you know, you see as a big difference and a big impact in the player's game? Definitely. Uh, I, I would say the biggest thing that jumps out to me right away is just stopping power. Yeah. Uh, really first metrics that I, I noticed, spin, we're definitely seeing a, a little bit of a, dis, uh, a difference there yep. where draws just under, just under 5,400 yep. fades, we're seeing closer to that 5,800 range. Yep. Definitely a higher ceiling on that fade shot right, as well right, too. Right. Um, so really, I would even say that's just one component of it. Um, from a height perspective, we saw more height from a fade mm -hmm. compared to that draw. Yep. Um, landing angles with that fade, we saw up at 49. Draws yep. were a little bit flatter, coming in a little bit a little bit flatter. Landing angles there, 46, and and, and really just, just less stopping power right. with that draw ball right. play compared to the fade. Yeah, so you can see the, the carry number goes down with right. the fade. So right. you're dropping about six yards of carry, but the rollout is also uh, not as much with the fade. Correct, so you, about, yep. you got about a, what, seven yard difference between the fade and, or the carry in total with the fade. Yep. And it goes up to nine, a nine and a half um, with the draw. So right. the difference there is how, not only how, the, how far the ball travels, but also how it reacts when the ball lands on you know, the green or near exactly. your target. Uh, and I think that's something that you know, I think about now. Let's say the player normally plays a draw, right? and they have a short right pin and a par three mm -hmm. with maybe a bunker in front of it. Yep. You know, if they're going to play a fade, they got to remember, well, my fade's going to carry it's gonna go a little roughly shorter, right? six yards. I mean, this is seven hours, so it's going to be yep. depending on the club and, and other things, but it's right. going to travel shorter than your draw typically does. Definitely. So other things like that, plus the stopping power, it's going to have a little bit more spin, yep. things like that. So uh, very cool to see the in-depth numbers on this difference, but with driver now, this will be fun. Um, I guess yeah. from that, before you start hitting the shots, yep. do, you know, do you expect these differences to be a bit more exaggerated maybe with driver? I would say more so, to be honest. Yeah. Just 
being that we're going to be moving at faster speeds, um, yeah. I think there's going to be just more variables that go into it. M may see some some more differences from a numbers sure. perspective just between those different ball flights. So. All right. Well, let's hit some bombs then. Gotcha. Let's do it. Ooh, look at that. Little, little bullet. One. Little bullet. Baby fade. That was that good. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's really fighting to move it. You usually play a fade off the tee? Honestly, not really. All right, so Cameron, we've yeah. got the fades and the draws of the driver here. Yeah. And we definitely, I mean, you're right. The, the, the differences kind of did exaggerate just a little bit. Yeah. Um, so we can look up here, we can see, for example, the spin a little bit, a little bit well, it's actually kind of a similar dif difference there in that spin, right? So yep. still dropping about 250-ish right. RPM. Right. Um, but we did see that carry. Uh, big difference. Big in difference carry. there. And I think you know because you kind of there is that possibility, right? If you're in the draw and someone maybe draws it too much, or that, right. that hook kind of happens. Right. You see the hooks, you know, they dive out of the sky. Definitely. Right? And I, um, I think that's exactly what we saw. Where height really not that high, landing angle on the lower end of things, low yeah. spin. Exactly what you said. That yeah. ball is diving out of the air. Yeah. That, and that's. I think and I think you, you, I mean, you said you're kind of a, a low ball driver yep. or driver hitter. So, yep. um, you know, the, the fade with a, a trajectory like yours is really going to stay up in the air a lot more Definitely. with that fade. Um, and you see that here. I mean, you know, 18 yards of carry. And yep. I think there's just because a little bit more spin uh, is able to keep that ball in the air right. a little bit longer. Um, so, and actually, for, for you, it did result in, in more total distance. For sure. And I think even, and now maybe for someone that hits the ball a little bit higher, you might yep. see a little bit more total distance with the I draw. would agree. Um, but I think either way, the, the important ones that we're talking about, carry distance, uh, spin, and then we also can go over here to like launch angle. We can yep. go to uh, landing angle as well here. We yep. see a big difference, a little bit just more shallow with the draw. 100%. Um, Even almost a 50% difference in peak height. Yeah. 24 feet different when our total, right. total mm -hmm. feet height for draw was 49. Yep. Big, big difference there. Yep. Definitely something you could see visually outside. Oh, just yeah. Just in terms of the window it's coming out of for sure. Oh, yeah. So I think, and that's the important thing is I think we're, you know, I think this video speaks to the, I guess, the better golfers out there, yeah. right? The players that are going to go out there and hit draws and fades right. maybe at the same time. Right. But it's important for them to know these differences that take place on those shots because if you're going to go out there and, and try to hit a draw maybe on a dog leg left hole, right. uh, you should know it's going to go further. And mm -hmm. there's also the possibility it dies out of the sky, it flies a little bit lower, Definitely. things like that. Uh, vice versa, dog leg right. right, your driver, your three wood, whatever club you're using, it's going to probably not go as far, right. um, or it's going to spin a little bit more. And so with that, you know, you're going to have a little bit longer time in the air. Definitely. If it's a windy day, that's going to be an issue to think about. So um, those things need to be th you know, thought about when you're playing golf and, and you, maybe the better player is trying to, you know, work the ball both ways. For These sure. differences matter quite a bit. Don't For they? sure. I, I would say a ton. And really one of the other takeaways that I, I think many players should take away from this, again, more reason to get fit. I'm in the driver, 11 degrees aloft, yeah. and spin rate the highest we saw, even on a fade ball flight, was 2,500. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's a spot where lower aloft, for me, you're going to see more of those draw numbers, where it's lower, yeah. diving out of the air. Maybe not necessarily a case where you expect a player with more speed to be in a higher lofted driver, but right. I think we just showed why there's reason to yeah. get fit and why there's reason to come in and try different stuff. Right, and that, I mean, that goes for any skill level golfer, any type of player. Um, getting fit is super important because uh, every single swing out there is different. So uh, golfers, you can get fit with an expert like Cameron here uh, at Second Swing in any of our stores. Uh, we'll get you set up with the right equipment for your game. You'll be hitting better shots and shooting lower scores. And so Cameron, thank you for joining, showing us all this data and talking us through it. Again, you know, a topic maybe not covered too much, but right. I think it's an important one for maybe those more skilled players to take to the course and Definitely. play better golf with. Definitely. I love it. Thanks for having me.